guys a little bit about this big city that's just north of where I live in Puerto Morelos. Um, today I'm going to show you where we're staying, which we are staying in this big beautiful condo. Four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, awesome for families and I'd say like a girls trip because it also has this like giant pool. But today's video is going to be about that but also to add more about Cancun and what it's like to visit Cancun during the coronavirus. I know a lot of people have been asking me questions like are things open, are there tours, are there restaurants open? So today's video is just going to be, is it worth it to travel to Cancun during the coronavirus? So if you guys are new to the channel, first off, my name is Trisha. I'm originally from Iowa, but I've been living in Puerto Morelos, Mexico, which is just 30 minutes south of where I'm staying. Actually, it was 23 minutes to drive here because this is on the south side of the Cancun hotel zone. This is actually called Playa Nizuc, N-I-Z-U-C. So it's beautiful waters, but it's not like what I'm used to in Puerto Morelos. There's lots of waves out here that you have to like fight with, but it's a very, very amazing beach. And one thing um, I'm gonna share with you guys is that we got to release some turtles. So that was really cool. We did that two nights ago. And oh my gosh, to see these little guys just go into the ocean, it was really fun. First off, the pool is giant. There's hardly ever anybody here, but this is something that's more shallow for like the kiddos. And then this one is about, let's say three and a half feet deep. And you do have shower right when you get out of the ocean. Huge green space. We're actually gonna go this way. Okay. And Steve just told me his his parents bought this property in 1984 and there was never a sidewalk here but the homeowners association built the sidewalk specifically for his parents because they went around the property and they did their exercises. I thought that was a cute little story. But I mean, who wouldn't want to walk right here along the beach? Okay, so we're gonna cut through actually. The place that we're staying in is right there, those three. We're gonna start with the living room area and go into the kitchen. This little girl's blowing bubbles. Okay. So we are still checked in, so it might be slightly messy. We did get some amazing drone shots, but look at this big dub double doors coming in. And the great thing is, is that when you come in from the beach, it's like you have this little patio area here, and this is your view sitting at the patio. Nice margarita, maybe a book if you like to read, unlike me. <laughs> you have AC, TV. And again, this is four bedrooms, four and a half bath. This is the first bedroom. No, I'm just kidding. This is a place where they have all like the boogie boards, games, chairs for the beach, fishing pole even. Now we'll go into the kitchen, dining room and kitchen. So seating for eight. My friends left, they got scared of the camera. Oh, we turned all the lights off. So this kitchen literally has everything you need. Amazing knife set, um, coffee maker, more dishes than you could ever use. Look at all those wine glasses. Okay. I mean, I'm not kidding, serving dishes. I had my friend here, we're doing a video, like a cooking video. She's like, oh my gosh, this place literally has everything. Gas stove, there's an oven. So this is great for families that want to just like post up and stay. Okay. All the pots and pans you could ever dream of. They have a fryer here even. I mean, everything you could ever need. And that's like an understatement. Okay. So now we're going to go upstairs. Oh, there is a half bathroom. Um, this is where Irma works out of, but they do have a laundry here. And then this is the half bath. Okay. Just the toilet and the solar stuff. 
front door and they have added sanitizer, hand sanitizer things. And I think, uh, you know, this is a great option for those of you that like want to travel, but you're nervous about maybe traveling during the coronavirus and you don't want to go to a big resort, which quite honestly, I've stayed at two in the last month and a half and I feel very safe. And I feel like that place is like cleaner than my own home. I think most places are. So we had the AC on and then we opened the doors so the floor is a little wet. But this is the view from the first floor ocean view room. Look at this view. And there's the view of the pool. Beautiful, right? And like I said in the description box, there will be the link. This range is anywhere from about, I think, $380 a night to $450, depending on the season. So this is the bathroom. And all the bathrooms are the same. Don't mind my mess. But the second bathroom has like a pool tub. Now this is the view of the uh, lagoon. So it's like right in the middle. It's so cool. So there's a patio out there, the chairs, single bed, queen size bed. Look at this, like, it's like a, literally like a pool. I'm not kidding. It's a giant. Like, I'd be like sad of how much water I'd use. Place. I mean, this is definitely, we stayed here five days, four nights. I was like, I could have used this for six months. Okay, so second floor, I should say third floor. Look at this big bed. The beds are absolutely comfortable. I think I got some of my best sleep. Oh, same here. So, like I said, I do these walkthrough videos so you guys get a real feel of what it's like to be here and just to know like how long it takes to walk somewhere it's like literally just a minute walk to the beach the pool and this includes huge beautiful pool towels comfy and i don't know if i mentioned at the beginning of the video but irma will cook for you for 30 dollars a day Okay, same bathroom with the shower, pretty shower. And when we arrived, she was spraying down the walls and like sanitizing everything. So they have standards uh, to be able to sanitize the location to receive new guests. I think Mexico is taking great precautions. So king size bed in the top floor and look at that lagoon. The sunset yesterday was Stunning, stunning, I forget, I have to stop using that word. Okay, there I am, where am I? There I am, can do All right, so that's pretty much it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll do my best to answer all your questions. made it to Chadrawi and I want to show you guys this place because first off once you get to VS Nizuk you're not going to want to leave so it's like good to stock up and I do need to mention that Irma um, she's the cleaning lady and she's your cook she will cook for $30 a day and buy you any groceries that you need okay we've got the lobster buddies here 
So this is really great because this is only like a 10 minute drive and it's everything you would possibly need. Like the vegetables and fruits are on the second floor. I was looking all over for the eggs and there's, a, there's two floors. So I couldn't find them and they're like, oh, those are on the second floor. And I'm like, there's another story of this grocery store. So, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna walk you around and show you some of the things they have here. But they have ev everything you would possibly need. So they have like the prettiest display of fruit ever. Look at this. I'm in the big city now. So many fancy cheeses. Like literally everything you could ever ever need. Free. Yum. Oh, here's the goat cheese. This is what I was looking for. Oh, here's my selection. Boom! My mezcales, baby. Wow, they have a lot of good selections. I like Cuatrocientos, I like Amores, I like Bouchot too, but they don't have that one. So we're, this is our pre-dinner. 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 Pre pre late lunch. Late lunch, yeah. I'm trying to swallow the sushi. Yeah. So it's, we got cochinita tacos, lechon tacos, ceviche, a donut, a chocolate donut, and tostadas. <laughs> this is our pre-dinner. We know we're going to be hungry later. when they're dancing. So the first part you saw was we, we were at Coco Bongo and you can see people dancing and then this is like the, it's called Coco Bar Cancun. And you can definitely tell people are in there, but it's early, it's only like 8.30. So by 12 or one, I don't know what it looks like, but it's definitely very 
different for me because I haven't seen like a party scene during the whole everything. So to see music and people dancing, it's like, whoa, like it's kind of alive again here. The way these waves come in, you have to go out there. I'm going to try and go for a swim and see how that goes. But it's like a fight, but it's a fun fight. It's not like Puerto Morelos where it's just like calm water like a pool. Let's see if we can battle these waves a little bit. Woo! amazing things in my life but helping baby turtles come out of their nest I feel like I'm like literally saving the turtles right now <laughs> oh what an experience so just to clarify this is a security guard here at the place that we stay and they do this every year um, they put these nets up here and uh, they put the signs and everything that you see to protect the turtles from poachers and the natural poachers of birds. <laughs> but yeah, what an experience. I hope you guys enjoyed that 
I mean, you didn't enjoy it as much as I did because I'm like actually here, but I'm glad we caught this moment and uh, I was able to share it with you guys during the sunrise. Well, I'm looking like a hot mess as always. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, please write that down below in the comments and share this video with somebody that you think might want to stay in Cancun. Maybe they're not looking to stay in an all-inclusive, but you want something for like a girls trip or you want a couple of families or you have a few couples that want to travel together. This is definitely a great location for that. You go shopping, get your groceries, and then you never leave because we sure didn't want to. Like I said, we were here five days and four nights. But if you do want to leave, it's only like a 15 minute drive to like the center, or maybe 10 minute drive to the Cancun hotel zone. Easy to get a taxi. Um, or if you're renting a car, they do have parking here as well. Um, and like I said, in the description box, there will be a link to the VRBO. And I just ask that you're sure to mention my church advisor when um, you're booking the location. And I'm excited to have you guys here. And let me know. I'd love to hear um, what you thought about the place when you stay here. And the one thing I do, I will say is that on the top floor, the internet is very weak. But other than that, everything was beyond perfect. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like the location. I will put the link in the description of how to book it and where it will be located on my map. All right, guys. So see you soon. Nos vemos pronto en México. Viva México. I won't say the bad word. All right. Bye, guys. We'll see you soon in Mexico. Bye.